Can you tell us what tonight's honor of the Johnny Mercer Award means to you? Um, it, it means the world, really. You know, uh, I've, I've, all, I've heard about the Johnny Mercer Award, and I used to watch the guys who, 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 uh, who got the award before Gamble and Huff, and I used to be, I said, boy, I would love to have that award. So here I am, and I, and I thank God for it. Could you tell us how the profession of songwriting has changed over the years? Well, I don't think the songwriting has changed. I think the production and the technology has changed. But it's, it's still basic. It's all in the song, you know. And some songs, you know, they they make you feel good, you know. And um, and that's what we try to do is is write songs that would be uh, encouraging and and make people feel good. We've on, we we're honored that you've been with BMI since the early 1960s. Can you <laughs> yeah. just tell us how you hooked up with BMI? Well, when I when I wanted to be a songwriter, I had to I had to learn about. Um, I had, to, I had to join an organization in order to get paid if you got a hit record. So, so I heard about BMI and uh, and I'm, I joined BMI and I've been a BMI member, still is a BMI member for life. You know, that's that's my organization, and uh, I'm proud to be a BMI member. I was I was working with a guy named Jerry Ross, and uh, I learned a lot from Jerry Ross about constructing songs or whatever. So he asked me, said, um, you know, are you a member of BMI? And I didn't know what BMI was, so that's how I got into BMI.